but a gusto keep getting that provo. It's high tech on the track like Flojo. Bet you ain't even know I had Flojo. Yo, make you rock your body. It's Will upon the other. Who does the better job invading the space and contesting shots? Just don't invade my space over here, Mr. Harlan. Go to your side of the table, will you? I wouldn't think of it. I would not think of it. Let's check out Toronto's starting lineup. Ibaka is the four, and Valanciunas in the middle. The talented Lowry and DeRozan pair in the backcourt. And it's Ananobi in at the three. And it's in there. That area, Kev, that in-between game between the post and three-point line, that's where players like DeMar make their living. Raiders against DeRozan. Basket counts. Amazing how he gets this one to go. Size doesn't matter. What fearlessness, right? He likes to go at taller defenders, and he shows he has what it takes to get it done. Here's DeRozan. Dion Waiters making his last shot. Over Waiters. Not enough on that one as it misses. Here's Whiteside. A shot missing. And Toronto will go the other way with it. Ananobi passes to DeRozan. Alan Judas with a screen on Dragic. Passes it to Ananobi. Takes it from 10. Excellent D there by Johnson. And it's Miami's ball. Waiters outside. Right side kicks to Waiters. Now, here's Richardson. He's guarded close. The Raptors have gone one of three from the field to start this one so far. Lowry passes to Ananobi. Screen by Ibaka. Off the pick. And it falls over the rim and in. Ananobi's got his first two points. How about the screen that frees him up, though, for the jumper? Rogic kicks to Johnson. Here's Waiters. Serge Ibaka with the rebound. Toronto, they've gone two for four from the field so far today. And, Greg, you hear about the competitive culture that this Miami Heat franchise has. Yeah, and that doesn't always work for some teams, but it works for the Heat. This group will push each other all the time to be the best they can be. The practices have a feel of game level intensity. Here's Dragic. Kicks it out to Richardson. It's stolen by Lowry. From past the arc, drains the three-pointer. Lowry's got his first three points of the game. What a fluid perimeter game. Kyle Lowry, a consistent threat from deep. Here's Dragic. And the rejection by Lowry. Here's Ananobi. Richardson cover. Ananobi, good. The Heat trail by seven. At the elbow, it's Whiteside. First quarter of action, just under three and a half minutes played. Again, the miss by the Heat. Toronto's gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. And it's Dragic with the foul. That's his first foul. The Heat making a switch here. Winslow's checked in. Siakam is checked in for the Raptors. Line reporter. should be quite a battle tonight. Two terrific right, front courts. Do you expect to see? To well, I'm really curious to see the level of physicality on the interior in the painted area. Each side trying to impose its will upon the other. Who does the better job invading the space and contesting shots? Just don't invade my space over here, Mr. Harlan. Keep to your <laughs> side of gonna. the table, will you? I wouldn't think of it. I would not think of it. <laughs> Now a chance, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. The starting five on the floor. 
So for Toronto right now, Ananobi the three with Ibaka playing the four. The talented Lowry and DeRozan pair in the backcourt. And it's Valanciunas in at the pivot, manning the middle. And so it's the Heat hitting on the board first. Now here's Dragic. Waiters outside. Shoots over DeRozan. Shots good by Waiters. What well, a nice approach, working it in low that time. Causing problems for the defense, keeping them off balance enough just to get the bucket. Here's Ibaka. That falls. Nice feed that time from Kyle Lowry. You simply cannot let Serge Ibaka get into a rhythm from that range. His mid-range is as good as it gets. Rogic kicks to Waiters. No good on the three. Yeah, blown opportunity after the two-man game creates a terrific look. Well, he simply missed fire. Now, you've got to capitalize when the screen opens up wide open shots like that. Now, here's Dragic. Johnson sets the screen for Dragic. Tipped away. It's stolen by Valanciunas. The pass to Ananobi. Shoots the three. Good on the three-point shot. Ananobi has got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Well, guys, really good court vision, allowing DeRozan to make that pass. You know, he sees the play developing way in advance. And the rejection by Valanciunas. DeRozan against Waiters. DeRozan dishes to Lowry. Two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. That's on Gordon Dragic. Well, the prototypical tough kid from North Philly, right? That's Kyle Lowry. I know early on there were questions about his disposition. And to me, part of his emergence, guys, as a star in the NBA has been about his maturation as a teammate. Two shots. The first one falls. And Lowry is such a tough, fiery competitor. Doris, isn't it sometimes the case that your greatest strength is also a weakness? Oh, there's no doubt. Think back to him being confined to a bench role, backup point guard early in his career. He chafed at that. So he uses it as great motivation to become an all-star caliber performer. This guy believes he has big-time stuff. And probably the prime memories with the Heat have to be from the Big Three era. I mean, the team has done a great job of, of transitioning from that era to this current one, but classic example for me of reloading versus rebuilding. Now here's Johnson. Five to shoot. Shot to stop the run. And misses it off the right side of the rim. Here's on an open. Richardson cover. On the wing, DeRozan. He dishes it to Valanciunas. Back to DeRozan. Elbow shot. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. And Greg, credit the Miami Heat front office and coaching staff for continuing to keep this team competitive despite losing several Hall of Fame type players in the last couple of years. And that is never an easy task for a franchise to go through. But the Heat have stayed in the competitive picture with smart signings and trades and don't discount the impact Eric Spolstra has had on that roster. Let's send it over to David Aldridge. You caught up with head coach Eric Spolstra. David? Well, Kevin, he talked about the great respect he has for the guys they're playing against tonight. He said, we're talking about one of the best offensive teams in the league, so we have to be at our best defensively. Talking, hustling, putting out the extra.